Hey everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Um, happy Sunday to all of you lovely, lovely sugars out there. And I was going to do a whip and chat on Sunday because Sundays are my whip and chat days. But to be really honest with you, I don't really have a lot to talk about because I've been stuck at home as everyone else I'm sure has been. And I don't really have a lot to talk about. Um, I've been doing, you know, just pretty much the same routine. I'm trying to stick to a routine because that is important in my opinion. So, you know, I get up, I have my coffee, take care of the dogs, um, check my email, check, I mean, you know, my YouTube uh, comments and stuff, um, and either start doing something, you know, diamond painting related, color related, or, um, now that, you know, my friends are home too, I've been playing some video games with them just to try and get their mind off some things. Um, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of my friends are really concerned about their jobs and um, what's going to happen. So um, anyway, but I want my channel to be a place where you go to escape from all of that. So because I don't really have anything to talk about, I figured I'm just going to go ahead and start... Um, showing you some unboxings. I have a ton of uh, canvases that I can unbox, so um, I can start doing that for you. Um, I am going to try and do a coloring whip and chat on Tuesday. I just, I don't know what I'm gonna talk about. What I might do is do a would you rather, you know, while I'm, while I'm coloring. Um, Cause I just, I don't have anything new that I've gone out and done or anything really to talk to you about that's not related to, um, the whole coronavirus thing and I just I just don't really want to talk about it on my channel um, some people might agree with that some people might not but that's my decision so I just want this to be a place where we can look at something and listen to something that's not related to this darn virus so um, yeah and also before I get started I do want to say I hope everyone is, is staying safe and healthy and listening to what all of our government officials are telling us to do, which is to stay home, don't go anywhere, um, if you can avoid it, if you're not essential personnel. So um, I really hope everybody is um, taking care of themselves and their family members and loved ones and friends. Um, just be really safe about it. Um, I stay in contact with my family um, daily, multiple times a day, um, and everybody's fine. Uh, so that's good, but I just wanted to say my thoughts and prayers are with everybody uh, through this um, through this crisis, and I'm a firm believer, and I'm staying positive that we will get through it um, together, and everybody's going to be okay in the long run, and just try and keep yourself busy. That's that's what I'm trying to do. If I'm not cleaning something, I'm trying to do something art related or play video games. So. Um, yeah, and um, some people have asked me about my bracelets um, in my comments, so I want to first of all thank Mrs. Coffee for um, showing these bracelets because I think she was the first one that had these bracelets that I'm aware of, and I thought it was a great um, way to give back to the community. Uh, these are called Zox bracelets, and the company um, takes the uh, some of the proceeds from the purchase of these bracelets and they're they're stretchy flexible bracelets um, and they all have inspirational quotes on them which is nice so you can always look down on your arm and see them um, they take some proceeds from the bracelets and they put it towards um, thirst project which is a worldwide um, charity that uh, gets clean water to uh, those in need countries that don't have clean water so um, I have bought four or five of these bracelets. They're, I think they're about $10 each. I'll have that link down below for anybody that wants to look into that and is, you know, wanting to um, check that out and um, buy a bracelet and help help those that need clean water. So that's what these bracelets are. I've had a lot of people ask. So um, again, thank you to Mrs. Coffee for showing these bracelets and um, yeah. I thought it was a good idea, so that's what they are. Okay, so today I'm gonna to show you a Mandy Manzano painting, diamond painting. Um, some of you may know, some of you may not know, but starting on May the 1st, which 
I'm going to have to talk to Shalene and Lisa. We might bump that up a little bit due to the situation with everybody being home. Um, but as of right now, starting May the 1st, we are doing a DP along, a Mandy Manzano DP along. And um, I forgot what the hashtag is. Yeah, we're going to do hashtag uh, Mandy DP 2020. And I'll have that uh, down below as well. But we're going to do that May the 1st through July 31st. So that's going to give you three months to get a Mandy Manzano painting done. I think that's plenty of time. Um, probably more time than we need now because a lot of us, like I said, are at home. But um, a lot of us have Mandy Manzano diamond paintings. So um, I thought that was a great idea. Um, I think, you know... It'd be something fun to do. So if anybody wants to be a part of that, I know Shalene is going to have that information in her Facebook group. Uh, Lisa is going to have that in her Facebook group. And I'll have that information in my Facebook group um, once we decide if May the 1st is really going to be uh, when we start it. Um, just disregard my computer. It needs air. Uh, so yeah, so this is the painting that I am going to work on. It is rather large. Uh, I mean, large Manny Manzano, but... I'm going to say within three months, hopefully I can get it done. And this is one that I have been waiting for to come back in stock. And uh, it did come back in stock a couple weeks ago. Um, so I went ahead and ordered it and I have it. So this is the one I'm going to be working on. So it is called Worlds Away. And I don't know if you guys can see the schematic, but it's of the lady in the bathtub. Why is my camera not being, it should autofocus. Nope. Okay, anyway, we're going to jump right into it. Hopefully I can get all of it to show up on um, on camera, hopefully. So I hope everybody's doing well. What's everybody working on? I want to know what everybody's working on. Are you diamond painting, coloring, crocheting? Yeah. Let me know in the comments below. Okay. So you get your uh, diamond painting tool kit that you get. Um, this is a round kit. You all know this is a round kit. I have basically stopped ordering anything square. Um, I just don't enjoy square kits, so I'm not going to order any more square kits. So with a round kit, you get two heart-shaped waxes, um, a three-placer, a clear boat, a squishy, and like a couple of bags. So yeah, that's your kit. But I use the tips off of these plastic pens as replacements for my acrylic pens. Ooh, let me show you that. Oh, so uh, because I'm a Diamond member with Diamond Art Club, I did get the free gift and I chose to get the dark blue sparkly pen. Funny story though, they sent that out to me, um, you know, as soon as, as I could order it and it got lost in the mail. And they, the post office lost the order, so I contacted them. And I just want to tell you guys, I don't care if you are a hater of Diamond Art Club. Diamond Art Club is amazing with their customer service. I messaged them and said, I think, I think that my order got lost in the mail. Here's, here's the tracking and, and all of that. And what I, what I had is that I took a screenshot and sent it to them immediately wrote back to me. I mean, within like five minutes and said, not a problem. We're just going to send you out another one. You know, thank you so much for letting us know. Um, it was there anything else they could help me with? I mean, just so responsive and nice and took care of the, the situation immediately. I didn't know if they were going to be sending me another one. I mean, that's, that's another pen they would have to send out. So I didn't know. Um, so I just want to say thank you to Diamond Art Club for um, just being an awesome company. I, I just, there are, there are multiple awesome companies out there, um, diamond painting companies, but I just, Diamond Art Club is my favorite and that's how it is. That's my opinion. So anyway, here's the pen, you guys. Dark, sparkly, blue pen. Oh my goodness. And I know you can't see it, but it has... Um, probably can't see it but it has diamond art club etched into it on the side if you can't see it but isn't that fabulous it's another glitter pen to add to my collection yay so thank you diamond art club for um the free gift for being a diamond member um appreciate it so i want to show you guys that 
Okay, so Worlds Away. It is 39 colors. And of course you've got, this is your sticker legend. You've got your DMC codes and all of your symbols. Now, I am a little concerned about how dark this painting is. Um, hold on, let me make sure my autofocus is on. I am a little concerned about how dark, how dark it is, but we're going to see. I, I think I'm going to be living the 310 life quite a bit, so, but I love this painting. I have an infatuation with bathtubs, especially like cool clawfoot bathtubs, but anyway, um, this one I had wanted for a long time. It was out of stock. I really want this one for our bathroom, for me and my husband's bathroom. Um, I want to hang this in our bathroom, so. I figured this would be a great time to do it, right? Yeah. Who else has this painting, this diamond painting, uh, Worlds Away by Mandy McDonald? Let me know. Okay, we're going to try and see if I can get this to... Yeah. All right, this is your instructions. Um, for those of you that are new to diamond painting, this is very helpful. It shows you step by step of how to diamond paint. So this is good for people that are new to the craft. Look at all these drills, you guys. There are a bunch of dark drills. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Seeing a lot of 823s, 938s. So, yeah. And I love the fact, thank you, Diamond Art Club. I love the fact that you put the name of what the kit is on the sticker of the drills. Thank you. That's amazing. Okay, now we're going to, let me just roll this the other way. Oh, it doesn't look as dark as I thought it would be. The picture makes it look really dark. Um, and I've seen some finished, um, some finished images of this kit and it looks really good looks really good so I'm, I'm super excited okay there we go isn't that just beautiful oh my gosh it actually has more like green and blues in it than the black so it looks like the black is only through here now it does say it has an a b uh, round with a b so let's see yeah it's going to be the white a b the 141 so actually that's number one. Yeah, it's like sprinkled throughout. That's really cool. I could use some of my new uh, diamond dots, like sparkly, um, sparkly things, you know? I showed you in my video before. I could even do glow in the dark, but I'm saving the glow in the dark for the Luna Moth. Um, yeah. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Love it. I love it. It is just so relaxing. Who doesn't need relaxing right now? Right? Right. Okay. So that is the legend. Okay. Now this is an older kit. So with this kit, I don't know if you can see it. You've got a legend over here on the left, which I love about Diamond Art Club. They do a legend on the left and a legend on the bottom right. So that's awesome. Um, the newer kits would have would have the name of the diamond painting in the artist down here on the left. But since this is an older kit, you're not going to have that right now. Um, and that's okay. I'm fine with that. Um, because like I said, this is a kit that I had been waiting for, for a while. Um, okay. So we're going to open the drills. Sorry, crinkly, crinkle, crinkle alert. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the camera down so that I'll still keep her in the image, but I wanna try and get that. Okay. Good grief, lots of drills, you guys. Like I said, it's uh, 39 colors. Okay, so let's go through some of these drills. Yikes. Here we go. We've got, is it going to focus? I can't 
camera's being a patootie. Hold on. For some reason, my camera's not... Doesn't want to focus. Anyway. All right, so that's 3746. It's like a purple color. Oh, 327. That's a purple color. Um, and if you guys want to really see the drills... what's going on with my camera it won't um I had an OBS update so I'm wondering if if that messed me up 3770 which is like a light peach 3760 that's like a teal color uh 890 that's a dark green uh 3661 that's like a kind of like a taupe brown kind of color 797 that's a blue real pretty blue Y'all don't mind my St. Patrick's Day nails. I haven't changed them yet. Uh, 3860. But I did get a bunch of new Color Street um, colors uh, that I had ordered, you know, a week or so ago. 333. Three, three. I don't think I've ever had that color. 333. Three, three. That's a real pretty, like, purple color. Yeah. All right. 779. 550, which is like a really dark purple. 154, it's a brown. 312. Uh, 823, and I'm gonna have a lot of a lot of these, I'm sure. 823, 823, which is like a really, really dark blue. Uh, 938, 3371. I've got two bags of 3371. Two of 310 right here, the black. And then, no, nope, here we go. Two more 310, so four bags of 310. Uh, 803, real pretty blue. Uh, 939, 939. All right, all the rest of them are 939, so yeah. That's gonna be awesome. So 939 is the arrow button. Yeah, there's a lot of that. All oh, spreads her out. So there's that's like a really, really dark, dark blue. Really dark blue. So not a lot of 310. So that's good. Okay, and these are just what I call your accents. Oh actually these have two ABs. Ooh. Okay. So you've got your your 141 which is your white AB. Um, can y'all see that? Will it focus? I'm so sorry. I don't know what is happening. Hold on. Hold on. It just doesn't want to focus. There we go. All right, 141. That's your white AB. Now there aren't very many of these. And then 138 is a blue AB. So you got some blue sparkle on that. Then you've got 368, which is a light green. Uh, 945 is a peach. 210 is a light purple. 155 is another purple. 3858, kind of like a orangey peach. 340 is another purple. 904 is a green. 814 is, ooh, pretty like maroon brown. Like a, well, actually a deep maroon red. 648, it's like a very light, like brownish cream. 3776, it's like a kind of an orangey brown. 300. Uh, 799, uh, 991, 3814, 208, 3024, 402, and 562. So, nice, nice, nice. All right, are you going to focus? There we go. Okay, let me get you better. 
back up so you can see the image. Okay. So yeah, so that is Worlds Away by Mandy Manjano. So this is the one I'm gonna work on for the DP along. Really excited for this one. Um, I have uh, quite a few other ones from Mandy Manzano, um, but I really wanted to go ahead and do this one because I knew this one um, I will actually put up in my bathroom. The other ones I probably wouldn't hang up in the house, like like Darth Daddy. I'm not going to hang that one up. I might put it up in here in my office, but um, I'm not going to hang it up in the main part of my house. Sorry, sprinkle alert. Okay. Sprinkle alert. Just fast forward if it bothers you, but I love it. <laughs> okay. So like I said, I keep all of the drills in this bag in a big sterilite drawer, and then I hang this on a hanger. So, um, yes. So that is Manny Manzano Worlds Away. So this is what... Like I said, this is what I'm going to work on. Now, I do have one more diamond painting that I'm thinking about showing you. Um, but I would need to put all of this away first. So, yeah. Um, might as well, right? It needs to be a little bit longer for um takes place in my whip and chat. I feel bad. I just, I don't, I, I, like I said, I don't really know what to talk about because <laughs> I haven't been anywhere done anything. Um, which I mean, is a good thing, but makes it hard when you make videos. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I did. I will say, oh, I can talk about that a little bit. Um, I did get, um, an audio book. I've got a new Arthur, Arthur, author that I'm enjoying, thank you to Stitcherista, uh, Ruth Ware. And I downloaded an audiobook called The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. Y'all, I stayed up till 5 a.m., uh, not last night, but the night before, listening to that book. The book is like, I think it was like 16 hours on audiobook. I listened to like five hours of it in bed. And next thing I know, it's like 5 a.m. I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I finished that book last night. It is great. It is, from what I understand, this is the first Ruth Ware book that I've um, read slash listened to by her. Um, most of her books have like the scary theme, like thriller theme to them from what I understand. This one didn't. This was more of a... I mean, it, it had some, you know, mystery to it, but it was a very pull on your heartstrings um, type book. And it really, I really connected well with the characters. They did a really good job, I feel like, um, with the writing in the book, um, really keeping your, your interest. So um, I've been listening to audiobooks. I really haven't watched a lot of YouTube, to be honest with you. I have, um, I think I've got 42 videos sitting in my watch later um, list. So I'm going to get to them eventually. Um, I'm just, I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm not in the mood to watch YouTube. I know that's horrible to say because I'm a content creator, but I would much rather right now be, um, you know, reading or just trying to get my mind off of, you know, other things, because as a lot of you with anxiety know, um, this isn't good for the anxiety y'all <laughs> at all, but I'm doing okay. And, um, I hope everybody is doing okay as well. So, all right. So I'm going to clean this up and decide whether or not to show you my next one in this segment. If I don't, then I hope all of you have a lovely Sunday. Um, try to, you know, as my bracelet says, stay positive. Um, you know, the storm will pass. That's what the other one is. Um, yeah, just, this is a great time. I'm looking at it from the positive aspect of, this is a great time just to be able to get some stuff done. I mean, as long as you take a break and, you know, I set my alarm on my phone 
for every um, hour to get up and like, you know, walk around the house, get a drink, you know, play with the dogs, you know, go, go say hi to my husband, whatever. Um, yeah. So I just take a break every hour and make sure I get up and move around. Um, but this is a great time to get so many things done, like your whips and, you know, things that have been sitting. Uh, I'm going to go through some of my uh, coloring stuff too and see um, what I have there that I can work on. So just try to look at it from a, a positive aspect of things you can get done. I mean, it doesn't have to be art related. You can shoot. I need to work on my cleaning out my closet. I could work on that. Um, work on, you know, rearranging a, a room that you wanted to redecorate, um, catch up on all of my Netflix stuff. That's another thing. I have so many Netflix shows I can catch up on. Um, so there are lots of things that, you know, we can do to take our mind off things. So I just, I just want everybody to try and stay positive, Shug. So anyway, love all of you. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. And if you don't see another clip to this, um, I will see you on Tuesday. Yeah. Bye guys. <laughs>